When we started our final year last fall, I don't think any of us could have imagined what was to come. I imagine though, if we close our eyes, we can picture our favorite campus hangout or hear the sounds from our favorite memories as chargers. Fortunately, the University of New Haven has taught us to be resilient, to be innovative, to be creative, and to be leaders. All of these things throughout our time at the university, particularly during the spring semester as we adapted to our new reality. What has not changed is who we are and who we will forever be. We are Chargers. As we join together for our virtual commencement today, we have a lot to celebrate. Our many achievements, the close friendships we have made, and the challenges we have overcome. We are wiser. We see the world and our place in it much more clearly. We are ready for the next chapter. It is our responsibility to make our mark on the world. Why? Because we are, and always will be, Chargers. Graduates of the Class of 2020, I am pleased to welcome you and your families and friends to today's virtual commencement celebration. The world we find ourselves in as we gather virtually today is one that has changed dramatically from just a few months ago. A global pandemic has made each of us a bit more fragile and susceptible to health concerns that we could not have imagined when your final year at the University of New Haven began last August. Some of you are experiencing financial strains and worries not seen in our country for almost a century. And in recent weeks, we have become painfully aware again of the pervasive inequalities and injustices that mark life in America, even today in the year 2020. I have said this several times during these challenging months, and it is true for this financial crisis and social upheaval as well, but I believe it bears repeating. I am confident that the valuable skills you learned and the mindset you developed as you navigated these unprecedented times will serve you well throughout your lives. While the impact of global crises such as the pandemic is largely out of our control, what we can control is our response. The resolve and resilience you have exhibited during these trying times is most admirable and exemplary. Above all, I am confident that the knowledge that you have obtained, the perspectives you've developed, and the experiences you have participated in as students have prepared you to tackle the complex issues facing society today. I challenge you to be innovators, to be agents of change, and to have an impact beyond what any of us can envision. As our future leaders, you each have a responsibility, one that I encourage you to take very seriously wherever your life may take you, to be socially conscious, empathetic and caring individuals, to make your mark on society, and to help us become a more just and more inclusive world. Inaction is not an option. I hope you will approach all your endeavors with a purpose and a conviction to leave this planet better than it is today for future generations. As Mahatma Gandhi said, the future depends on what you do today. I hope that as you begin the next chapter of your lives, that you will remain connected to your alma mater and that you will continue to take great pride in your lifelong affiliation with this university. I will leave you with one final challenge. Do good and keep making us proud. And most importantly, go Chargers. As Acting Dean of the Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensic Sciences, I want to offer my personal congratulations to the class of 2020. You've done it. You've survived. You've endured. You succeeded. Whether you are continuing on to graduate school, heading into the workaday world, or still finishing up the vestiges of your bachelor's degree this summer, a chapter in your life is successfully coming to a close. This should be acknowledged, lauded, and celebrated. You've done something significant that can never be taken away from you. 
The world is forever changing. However, the challenges you are going to face are your own. No generation in history will deal with as much societal evolution in such a short time frame as you will. The good news is you are prepared for these challenges. You have everything you need. Please never forget that true and honorable public service uses power only when it is tempered by the idea that service above self is its own reward. It is therefore deserving of only your very best efforts. So stay strong, keep seeking answers, and never forget why you came to the Lee College in the first place. Some say there are no more heroes. Make them realize they've simply been looking in the wrong place. Good luck and congratulations again to the class of 2020. The honorary degree citation, which I will read in a moment, was prepared for Rebecca Johnson, our former Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students, who retired earlier this month after 40 years of dedicated service to this university. Rebecca Johnson, visionary student affairs leader, passionate educator, exemplary mentor, you have been an invaluable member of the University of New Haven's community for four decades, and your impact can be felt throughout the student experience. From developing a vibrant residential life program and establishing our living learning communities to launching the university's Myatt Center for Diversity and Inclusion, our alternative spring break, and the Charger Compact, your work has greatly enhanced student learning student engagement, and student retention. Your efforts creating the competency learning experience, which helps students develop the skills and attributes that employers have identified as essential for career success, and building the university's career development center into one of the best in the country, have played a pivotal role in the professional success of scores of students. In expressing gratitude for your devoted service, a graduate put it best in saying, quote, your work will have a lasting impact on the lives of our graduates for decades to come. Rebecca Johnson, in recognition of the profound and far-reaching impact you have made as an educator and administrator, you have been duly recommended by the selection committee to receive an honorary degree from the University of New Haven. By virtue of the authority vested in me by our Board of Governors, I am pleased to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Congratulations. I would like to say a few words about Dr. Henry Lee, one of the foremost educators in the University of New Haven's 100-year history, who has announced that he will retire at the end of August. Dr. Lee joined our forensic science program in 1975 and helped build it from a small classroom equipped with a single fingerprint kit into an internationally recognized multidisciplined academic department considered one of the nation's best. A world-renowned forensic scientist, Dr. Lee has played a transformational role in building the international brand of the Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensic Sciences which is named in his honor, raising the visibility of the university and advancing the field of forensic science. Throughout his legendary career, Dr. Lee has assisted in the investigation of more than 8,000 cases, including the O.J. Simpson case, the review of the John F. Kennedy assassination, and the death of John Benet Ramsey. Few individuals have had such a lasting influence on the trajectory of a field as significant and groundbreaking as forensic science or on the reputation and success of an institution as Dr. Lee has had. He has enhanced the lives of an immeasurable number of our students on experts in the field and those seeking the justice they and their families deserve. We are looking forward to honoring both Dr. Johnson and Dr. Lee at the in-person ceremony in December. Until then, please join me in recognizing them for their selfless devotion to the university and to the generations of students they have served. Class of 2020, I realize this is not the culmination you envisioned when you first stepped foot on campus. And I regret the impact that the coronavirus 
pandemic has had on the end of this chapter of your educational journey at the University of New Haven. Still, I hope the trials you faced and resoundingly overcame during the course of the last few months did not diminish your excitement for reaching this important milestone. You should take great pride in all you have achieved. I look forward to seeing many of you and your proud parents, families, and friends at your in-person commencement in December. Until then, on behalf of your professors and the entire university community, I offer my sincere congratulations and best wishes for your continued success. Graduates, as the final action of these ceremonies to symbolize your passage into the community of scholars, please move the tassel on your mortarboard from right to left. I am pleased to welcome you into the university's Alumni Association, a network of 60,000 chargers across the country and around the world that is ready to assist you. Again, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing all of you in December. Hi, my name is Dave Gala, and I'm the president of the University of New Haven Alumni Association. Congratulations to each of you on earning your degree. As our very special centennial class, I had hoped to be with you on this commencement ceremony to welcome you into our alumni family of more than 60,000, but I'm happy to send you this message. Don't let the last four months define your years of effort. We're all very proud of you. This brief period in time only speaks to your resilience and your strength of character. You'll always remember this time, the friendships, the connections you've made will all last well past graduation day and continue into your future. I encourage you each to get involved in your alumni community and stay connected to the university. I look forward to the day that we can celebrate your accomplishments together in person and ring that alumni bell. Please know that regardless of where you may be, you are never far from a fellow University of New Haven alum. Go Chargers! Mm -hmm.